five seconds at each station, and you'll have 15 seconds to rest, but really it's just a transition time. Today's going to be a lower intensity kind of workout. We're really working on fixing that pelvic cord also, activating um, muscles around the outer hips that really get neglected, especially if you have to sit all day uh, to help pull that pelvis into place. Alright, so um, our first one will be the monster walk. Alright, I'll uh, actually do it a little bit differently. I'll have to band around my knees to start. But if that's not um, activating enough, then you'll put it around your feet later and you'll see when you get started there. Alright, uh, we're going to start off with jumping jacks. side to side for speed skaters. So just straight from the ground, lifting it up and activating the outer hip. Getting ready for some of the lateral, lateral work we're going to be doing today. And from there, we're going to drop down squats again. And back to our deadlifts, pushing the hips back, keep the back flat. Right 
right hip flexor here, or in the left foot forward, with the left foot forward. So, when I extend that hip flexor, shift your weight forward towards those toes, bending the knees, maybe reach that same side as the back leg, up, cross the body, even when you're running more into each side, pointing the back toes, pushing the hips forward, and towards the front toes. And then when you're ready, same arm and the back leg reaching up. And Alright, next, open up those hips again, open the door, circle that feet around, shake it out with any other shift we have to do. Getting ready for our demo. Now the monster or walk, like I said, you can start with the band above the knee. Alright, but if you need some more activation, you can put them around the ankle. Okay, but if you feel this around the outer hip, that can be right away. It can be after about 10, 15, 20 seconds, depending on your posture. You know, like after these are banded squats. So feet about hip width. The focus here is really driving those knees apart as you squat. So stretch the resistance band while you squat. And next are fire hydrants. So keeping our knees beneath our hips, hands beneath the shoulders. We're going to open up the hips, keeping the knee at 90 degrees, like a dog team doing fire hydrants. And then last, we have our side plank with clamshell. So you'll get on your forearm for the side plank. Keep the hips lifted. And then keeping your feet together, just clamshell open the thighs. All right, and getting ready to get started with our monster walk. So again, I'm starting it with the band above my knees for this first round, but I'll lower it for the rest of them for myself. We're starting in three, two, one. Getting down in a quarter squat position, hips are back, legs are engaged, knees over the ankles. Long, flat back, tiny, tiny baby footsteps as you walk forward, stand up to the top, get a little extension in for a second, and then while you're getting resistance away from each leg, so stretch that band as you walk forward and back. We're going to start in a tabletop. Knees beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips, hands beneath the shoulders. Let's begin. Keep that knee locked at 90 degrees as you open up the hip. Down, 
We're gonna keep the hip lifted up, pressing into the shin and foot, and keep the feet together as you slam shell open the knee part again, stretching that band. monster walk this time I'm putting the band around my ankles as you can see all right just a little bit higher than my ankles give me a little bit more resistance still pressing that band open giving it constant constant resistance as I walk forward and backwards
started in three, two, one. Begin. Alright, we're back to those monster walks starting in three, two, one. Begin. Pressing the knees apart in three, two, 
one. Let's go. Getting into a tabletop, starting with those fire hydrants in three, two, one, again. All right, getting into a side plank for that clamshell in three, two, one, let's go. Thank you for watching.